Hey there. Do you want to build a complete hero section in Webflow just by talking to an AI agent? How about optimizing every page on your site for search engine optimization or importing variables from your external design systems into Webflow? That's exactly what we're showing you today. Hey everybody, I'm Vic from the developer relations team. And by the end of this video, you'll have all of the tips and know-how that you need to control the Webflow canvas by prompting an AI agent. You'll learn how to write reliable prompts and to use a library of Webflow tested prompts for your own projects. A few months back, we launched the Webflow MCP server with functionality for AI agents to handle tasks like updating CMS content, managing assets, and working with site data from our REST APIs. This has been really, really useful. But a lot of you asked, what about actually building in the designer? Can I create elements and manage styles through the MCP server? Today, the answer is yes, and you can do it right now. With the addition of the designer APIs to the Webflow MCP server, you can now control the Webflow designer directly through an AI agent. Use the MCP server to build components, adjust styles at different breakpoints, and manage your variables and assets all through natural language props. I've got Virat with me, another member of our DevRel team, who actually built this functionality. So here's what he's going to show you. First, creating a complete hero section using a detailed prompt. Then, batch updating all your assets in alt text for SEO. And finally, importing an entire set of color variables based off a color palette from a site like Coolers. More importantly, we'll show you how to prompt effectively, because the way you ask makes a huge difference in the results that you get. All right, Virat, let's see it in action. Thanks, Vic. Hello, everyone. I'm Virat from the Developer Relations team. And in this video, we are diving into Webflow MCP's designer tools and exploring how you can use AI to design, build, and automate your workflow right from your favorite ID like cursor. So without further ado, let's get started with Webflow MCP by setting up the MCP client first. I'm on the documentation page and you can find the documentation link right below to this video. Before you begin, make sure you have a Webflow account and Node.js install on your machine. Node.js version should be 22.3 or higher. Now head over to installation section and over here we have detailed guide how you can set up Befflo MCP for Cloud Desktop, Cursor and Windsurf. In my case I'm using Cursor so I'm going to click on the Cursor tab and now I'm going to copy the MCP configuration. I already went ahead and set up a blank fresh Cursor project. Inside this project I'm going to create a new folder called .cursor. Now inside this folder, I'm going to create a new file called mcp.json and inside this file, I'm now I'm going to paste my configuration and upon hit save, Cursor will prompt us to enable our Webflow MCP server. Click on enable. Now head over to settings by clicking on the top right icon. Head over to tools and MCP section. Over here we can see it requires and authentication. Click on connect and now click on the open button. It's going to open our Webflow MCP server authentication page. Click on the approve button and now select the sites. You can also select the workspace but please note if you are working with a large number of sites on your workspace installation might fail. Now click on the authorize app. Now it prompts us to open the cursor again. Click on the open cursor and that's it. Now cursor can talk with our Webflow MCP. Webflow MCP tools falls into two categories, data tools and designer tools. Data tools can perform actions like CMS cloud operations, listing sites or fetching page metadata. These tools does not require an MCP breach app to be open on your project. In other hand, Designer tools to required. These tools handles design and visual related tasks such as creating element on the canvas or working with the variable. To launch an MCP breach app, head over to your apps panel. Hit launch on Webflow MCP breach app. And after a few seconds, you can see the status connected to MCP cell and keep this app open. Before we jump straight into asking AI agent to run the Webflow MCP tools, let's step back and plan things out. We'll start telling AI agent what we want to achieve and prepare a detailed roadmap or a to-do list based on our ask. 
will review the roadmap ask for the changes if required once we feel confident on a roadmap we will ask a agent to execute those tasks so quick tip always plan and review first and then let your ai agent handle the execution that makes everything clear predictable and exactly the way you want let's start with our first prompt we'll ask a agent to create a simple hero section for us let me paste my prompt and break it down i have mentioned my site name and name of a page so it knows where exactly to create this section i have also described the layout of a hero section in this case it's a two column layout and also i also suggest a class name to create and also ask to fetch the asset i have on my asset panel and prepare a detailed to do list first let me hit submit and wait for a plan so it's already found the site it, it went to the all the page list it knows the exactly the idea of a home page it already knows which asset to use and it's now creating detailed to do list for us okay the whole roadmap looks good so let's ask to execute the phase 1 first so phase 1 is all about creating styles and as we see on the style selector it already started creating styles for us and it looks like all the phase 1 styles are created let's ask for the execute the phase 2 and we see our first element created on canvas it was quick phase 2 is completed let's ask for to execute phase 3 and let's give a green light for a phase 4 too and now we also see our asset is connected with the image too and if you notice it's not responsive so this is something we can ask to it's following the same rules where it's creating to do list and we can view all the to do list right over here and we are done pretty magical right seeing agent helping us on real time feels a game changer for sure all right for our second demo let's ask our ai agent to fetch all our assets and generate an alt text for them right now i do not have alt text set for any of these images so let me quickly paste my prompt as usual i am starting my prompt with the site name so it knows exactly where to fetch all the assets and asking like fetch all the assets that does not have any alt text set and skipping the svg and the gif images right now setting alt text or generating alt text for svg or gif is not supported with msb tools and as usual asking to prepare a detailed to do list first hit send excellent it found four images and now it started getting preview of all each of these images all right the plans look solid and and that's it you can also see our asset names are also changed and if you look at to edit settings we see a nice seo friendly name and also alt text for each of these assets pretty neat right and for our final demo we'll be asking our ai agent to bulk create variables for us in front of me i have a freshly created webflow project which does not have any variables i'm going to generate variables from this color palette so very first thing i'm going to copy this color palette image and also i'm going to paste my prompt in this prompt i'm asking to create primary secondary and accent color based on the uploaded image find the x code and also generate tinge and shade and very first thing i'm asking like create this variable name in a css file first send and as we see it created a css file which has all the required color palettes variable names however i do notice it created 
some extra things which is nice like shadows, streets and those things. However, I only need colors for my project. So I will ask to just use those colors, not all the things for me. I will stop doing because it's generating HTML file which I don't require. And now I'm going to paste my final prompt. And as usual, I have mentioned my site name first. I'm asking that create a collection named DS and only the colors I required. And let's wait for a final plan. Overall plan looks good, so let's give a green light. And as we see, a newly picked collection created for us. And we have our first primary color sets. And there we go. A agent just help us to bulk generate all these variables from a single CSS file. You can also connect external systems like Figma MCP and fetch all the variables from Figma files just right into your Webflow or you can connect two Webflow sites and get variables from one project to another. It's that easy. All right. Thanks for joining me. Over to you, Vic. Thanks, Bharat. It's really helpful to see those prompts and those great tips. So here's what you now know how to do. You can install the MCP server to your AI agent and connect the bridge app in the designer. You can write effective prompts that create hero sections, optimize your assets for SEO, and import design system variables. And you know that being specific matters. Describing the structure, the styles, and the breakpoints in your prompts gets you much better results in simpler requests. Now, we want to hear from you. What are your favorite prompts that you're using, and how much time has it saved you? Are you using the MCP server to build new sites or update existing ones? Drop a comment and let us know what you're building or what you want to build with the MCP server. And if you're looking for more guidance, check out our new prompt library on the Webflow developer docs. We have prompts that you can copy and paste into your AI agent for common tasks, like adjusting styles at different breakpoints in case you style it at an incorrect one or you want to make sure your whole site is responsive. Also, there are other prompts for optimizing keywords across your CMS collections and your static pages, which is new, and refactoring classes with hard-coded values to use variables and variable modes. These are all tested and include proper error handling, so you can use them as starting points for your own projects. All the links are in the description below, the MCP documentation, the prompt library, and the installation guide. But thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.